tumors are among the deadliest of all cancers, and treatment, surgery, chemo, and radiation can be grueling. Now CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us about a promising experimental treatment for brain tumors that uses electricity. How about it, Doc? That's uh, right, Maurice Christine. Electromagnetic fields, to be precise. We know that magnetic fields can affect cells in the body, and that's how MRIs work. And depending on the strength and frequency, electromagnetic fields can stimulate healing, cook food in a microwave, or in this case, kill tumor cells. Couldn't really finish a sentence, couldn't even really f uh, finish a thought. And uh, when it came down to uh, putting on a tuxedo for a wedding, I really needed some help. It was at his stepdaughter's wedding that Gordon Miller realized something was wrong. He was rushed to the hospital, and within days, he was having surgery to remove a glioblastoma, the most deadly of all brain tumors. It's uh, a tumor, I like to tell my patients, like an octopus. The head of the octopus is what the surgeon sees and can remove, but we have these tentacles that grow through the normal brain. But even with the best of care, average survival with a tumor like Gordon's is under 15 months. So he signed up for a promising experimental new treatment called NovoCure TTF. That's what his wife Mary Beth is helping put on his head. It's a whole new way of killing cancer cells that uses electrodes placed around the area where the tumor was removed. It sends a low-level electrical field across the tumor cells to try to disrupt cell growth and reverse it and cause cell death. Here's how it works. When cells divide, which is what cancer cells do, internal cell machinery splits up the chromosomes into each new cell. Electromagnetic fields at just the right strength and frequency polarizes this machinery so the cell can't divide properly. Here it is under the microscope. And since in the normal brain, cells rarely divide, brain cells are unharmed while the dividing cancer cells die off. Gordon has been using the NovoCure for five months. He and Mary Beth know they're in a fight, but they're still enjoying life. We just appreciate every day. We appreciate each other all the more, and we appreciate the family and the grandkids, and, you know, life is good. Now, the electrodes are in addition to standard chemo and radiation. This is still experimental, but in early trials, the Novo Cure seemed to extend life and definitely improve quality of life without any real side effects. The only thing Gordon gets is an occasional warm feeling on his scalp and a little skin irritation. And Mary Beth and Gordon may just be the two most optimistic people yeah. I, had, I had ever met. They're loving life and they're living it, you know, to the fullest while they're waiting to see what happens. Mm. Well, you know, you say that this is still in the experimental phase, right. but for patients who might be interested, interested in this, is this device available to them? It's not widely available to anybody, but you can qualify for a clinical trial. There are about 19 centers around the country that are in this, what's called a, a pivotal phase three trial that's really for uh, definitely proving the safety mm -hmm. and effectiveness of it. So there's about 19 centers. You have to qualify newly diagnosed glioblastoma. You still have to you have surgery, chemo and radiation, and then this is an addition to that. All right, Dr. Max Gomez. You bet. Thank you. All right.